Alrighty, day 26. I am dressed, I promise. I'm wearing a strapless romper. And we keep adding little pieces. Can you see? Can you see Oogie Boogie back there? Like I'm I am really committed to this journey. By the end of this, it's gonna be I have a plan for the end for the last episode. So just you wait. By the way, do you guys want Andre to show up for one of these? We I feel like we should do that. It's just hard with like one mic, but today what I want to talk about is kind of go off of yesterday. And yesterday I really shot it to you straight and we talked about your top 10 goals. Do you have your top 10 goals? Do you feel better? Do you feel clarity? Did something light up and you were like, you're like, okay, why was I selling myself short? And I only had eight or nine or seven or five goals. Cause I see that all the time. You guys will screenshot your planners or like take a picture of your planners and tag me. I'm like, bro. And I call you out, bro. Why do you only have five goals? Oh, but I don't know what I want. So yesterday was so to me needed. It needed to happen. I, like I said, I needed to shake you and then we can hug it out because you are legit selling yourself short. So do you feel better? Do you feel clarity? If you don't, I'm not kidding. Pause me, go back and watch that. And don't come back here until you have 10 goals that light your freaking booty on fire that you're like, I can't wait to start my day because I want to get to moving on these 10 goals. Like the stuff that actually freaking matters to you. So I got a question about work hours and how to set work-life balance. And if you feel like you're working all the time or working not enough or like what it takes to be like a girl boss, guy boss that is slaying, glowing up and making bank. How many hours do you work? Well, here's what I'll tell you. When those 10 goals light you the F up and you are so freaking excited to start your day and you do things like wake up at five because you're just really excited to get to cracking on it. Like I always say, I get asked this a lot. Am I tired through October because it's a lot. No, I'm actually more invigorated because I freaking love it. If I could do this every single month, I would. I just probably wouldn't be able to run a business because it's crazy because it's all hands off deck on everything else and all hands on deck on video and content creation. But I love it because it's filling my cup. So if you've done the fill your cup activity in the Dream Life Blueprint Workbook, I am so personal time and creative time. It lights me up. If I can be creative, like doing these DIYs, It makes me so happy because it's just so peaceful. It makes my brain work for some people. They get filled up by social time. So you've got to be able to know what's filling your cup. And so for me, these goals that I've set this, my top 10 goals this month, they light me up. And that's really what's going to help you be your most productive. So the other thing that I want to talk about when you're going through, if you could think, if you have the habit tracker, by the way, this will help a lot, but I'm going to, I'll map it out for you if you don't. So one thing that I have in mind is my, look how cool this is. Like once it's all filled out, it's such a vibe. So if you could think of five things that would help you be more productive in your work hours and helping you accomplish one of these or all of these top 10 goals, what would they be? Like, does, does waking up early flow into your productivity? Does getting a workout in flow into your productivity? For me, it does. Meditation, visualization in the morning, planning my day. It makes the utmost insane difference. One month I actually, in August, I think it was, I actually put blog as one of my habits. Cause you guys know this, it's like an ongoing joke. I just was never launching my blog. I now did, I need to keep going with it, but I literally made it one of my habits. So what are five things that you could set daily to be more productive in reaching those top 10 goals? So this is how I do it. And then what you'll be able to see your variables and everything. So what I did is making sure I made it as hard as possible this month, 10 K steps daily. So it's, you can see there's a lot more blank spaces this month because it's harder. Go outside meditation, workout, read. I want and my vision in this was, I wanted to make sure that I was staying healthy mentally, physically, and emotionally through this month of a lot of hard work. So that's where my five habits were coming from, but I'm also tracking in these, I call them variables how productive I was. So how many out of my top 10 goals am I hitting daily? And you can see I go anywhere from like, I never hit one, but some days I have three and then I go all the way up to 10 or nine and then I drop back down. And it really does depend on when I'm waking up. Like it's very interesting and how my mood is. So what are five things that you can do for that? And then what I want to say with this work life, how many hours do you work? 
When I first started my businesses, different businesses, there is so many hours that go into it because there's so much love. And when you, I'll be honest, like, you know, the saying, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. It's so true. So the days that I'm actually the most lit up are the days that I'm moving forward and I'm seeing progress on a goal. Now, does that mean that I work all hours all day long? No, I have balance because I'm following. I I would truly believe that people that don't follow the system of what are your top 10 goals? What are your top 10 to do's? And your three needle movers are actually wasting more time on not having work-life balance because they're just doing crap that doesn't matter. They're literally doing administrative stuff, scrolling Facebook, administrative stuff, scrolling Facebook, maybe touching on their top 10 goals for 10 minutes a day. And then they end the day and they feel, and I'm sharing this because I've been through this. And then they end the day and they're like, I didn't move forward on anything that mattered to me. I can't even tell you what I did today. So that's where I would say your balance might be completely out of whack because you're telling yourself that you're doing all of these things. And instead of knowing your freaking worth and mapping out those top 10 goals, following the top 10 to-do list from those top 10 goals and having three, no matter what, like my, no matter what my daily grind, my top three needle movers for the day, they have to get done before I go to bed. And if those three things are done, then I go to sleep very peacefully. By the way, I sleep super well. You know why? Because I have clarity in my day. I look at what my top three needle movers are. When those get done, I go to bed and I'm good. So I think having that really helps you with balance. The other thing is if you have stuff that's important to you, marriage, for, for me, that it like Andre is number one for me. So health, Andre, Carl, then my decorations. I'm kidding. But Andre is like it for me. So obviously that's going to be a priority. It has legit been one of my top 10 goals that we have a date night every single week, no matter what. And for us, a date night means we get each other a little something like he can get flowers or I can get him like a little, like a li- nothing crazy, like a pair of socks, like just something really like some funky socks. I don't know, like something really cute that matters. Um, this week I bought him, I got him, I bought a pa- two packs, so I got myself one, but I got him one of these and I set up his new iPhone for him because I know that he doesn't want to do that. So, and then I got him a new case for it because he always, he goes caseless. It's like little thoughtful things. So that was part of my top 10 goals. So my point in is, You don't have to sacrifice your relationship, your health and all other things when you have goals going on. Like this month, I'm creating more than I ever have, working harder than I ever have all year. And you can see in my habits, I made sure that those five were things that kept me sane, kept me healthy, kept me happy. And then I also make sure that like Andre and I literally went on a date night two nights ago. Like we make sure to have personal time. I leave my phone at home. You don't have to do that, but I'm just saying like, don't stay off your phone. So when you're doing these balances of life, work hours, focusing on what moves the needle, knowing what habits you can track, it's such a game changer. And I will say, I'll just leave you with this because I touched on it really quickly. Stop kidding yourself about where your time is going because I did that and you're robbing yourself of so much time. If you're feeling like I'm working all the time, but really 30 to maybe 70 plus percent of that is spent scrolling social media, stop kidding yourself set timers. If you have to, I have a video on that on this channel of like time management and how I use a timer. It's usually right here, but in my defense, we are moving. It's usually sitting right here. And then I just wrote it like whenever I want to make sure you can use a timer on your phone if you want kitchen timer works too, but get really freaking real about where your time is going. If you're spending it calling friends and chatting and texting and complaining and worrying and scrolling Facebook and knowing all about somebody else's vacation, how about you start making goals happen so that you can plan your own vacation? That's the way I see it. Like, stop looking at everybody else through the lens of social media and start living your freaking life and making ish happen. So I love you guys. Hopefully you took this with um, nothing but love because I know that I get like heated, but I just want, I legit want the best for you. Like when I get these comments and DMs and messages of you guys being like, this is changing my freaking life. That's all I want. And if I have to rattle you a little bit to do that between yesterday and today, I love it. So I'm going to continue to take your comments and turn them into these videos. So you are literally dictating the fate of this series and potentially a future product. So it's kind of cool that you guys get to share all of that with me and be able to build it and kind of dictate the fate of it, which is just amazing. So with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.